Hi, mateys. Are you gonna go to a party and you need a gift bag or a treat bag or a card or tag to put on your special gift? So you don't need to go swashbuckling out to your ship and go pillaging and plundering for some gift bags. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make them last minute for Halloween. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I wanna thank you for joining me today. I am a pirate wench. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know, I'm 70 now, and if I can do it, you can do it too. I want to thank all my subscribers. You all mean the world to me, and I want to thank you for supporting my videos and watching my channel and, and, and all the sweet comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't want to miss any of my upcoming joyous Christmas videos and a great year plan for 2022. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to make cards, gift bags, treat bags, treat cups, and little tags, and some potion bottles for your Halloween. Arg! I hope you love it. I hope you get inspired and I'm going to see you in the next video. Arrgh. So today I want to show you some last minute gift bags, goodie or treat bags, treat cups, potion bottles and gift bags or cards and tags. So real quickly, I just want to show you, you know, I, for every season, I make these approximately five by seven cards. I round the edges. The thing I make for my channel, I want to show you, you can do it too for a very low expense. You know, I'm all about the budget. Anyway, I took this EK Branch Punch. Now, I love this. This works at Christmas for like bare branches, Halloween for spooky black branches, or even for coral if you're doing something for beachy look. I punched out some little flowers and I just kind of drew with black marker on them and then put the little googly guys, but I made a wreath out of those branches and then tied it with a little creepy cloth. I added two um, punches that I punched out of my very favorite Halloween punch by EK. It's got a bat, a spider, and a snake on it. Now, this is what I call a paper cluster. Here's another one I made. Now this one, I took some brick scrapbook paper those branches again, these ghosts I cut from that scrapbook paper that I've used over and over, or draw your own, make a little pattern of a ghost and you can make it out of white paper with black marker. And here's the bat again. And again, this would make an adorable um, Halloween card for a friend, for your grandkids, um, to put on a bag. And then here's another one I made for this gift bag, which has a tag on it also. And this was a Tim Holtz um, ticket that I um, I stamped on gray paper, put creepy cloth spiders, a little um, pinwheel here. And look how cute, you wanna go see somebody take them a candle or a little goodie or something like that. It's so, so cute. Now let's take a look at my tags. Now these tags I bought years ago from Target and they were already plain, just with that little spider here and then the writing on it. So at Michael's years ago, keep your eyes open for anything that has printed on it these little potion bottles to make these adorable tags with the little potion bottles on them. On this one here, I was lucky to find this potion. Um, it's Elixir and Tonic. Uh, stamp. So I stamped some of those and you can see how cute that is. And these you'll have forever. Here's um, some of those spider webs from that the cupcake uh, cover. So the next thing I want to show you is I want to show you these treat bags. So these are made from the 40 for a dollar lunch bags, okay? And I make a topper that just folds over the top, and I'll show you in a minute. Punch two holes, and then I embellish it. This is with cupcake liners. I make those pinwheels, a little bat, and some eyelash yarn. This one here I don't have attached. So I have a bow, I mean, a, so I have a piece of ribbon, and then I have this topper I made. So you can see I put my goodies in the bag, and then I folded it over. It's just a piece of paper. 
that I folded in half and I used uh, with those um, curved scissors, the edging to curve both the sides. And I made sure it fit on the top of the bag. Once you, you should make a pattern for this, you know, the width of your bag. And you just fold the paper in half. I added cupcake liners and then a witch, witch's potion, little ephemera here, and then some creepy cloth, some gauze. I punched the holes, then I draw the ribbon through and tie it in a bow. And that's what it looks like. So what to put in these little bags? Well, here is one of my little cups of homemade fudge. Now what I do is I use a cupcake liner at the bottom. So all these spooky cupcake liners that you get, you can make pinwheels with them or you can put them in the bottom of these cups. I don't know what these are called. They're just like cocktail cups, plastic cups. But this size is what you need this little cocktail size, because a fold over sandwich bag fits perfectly over it. This is what I mean here. See how I've taken that cup and I put one of these sandwich bags over it, it just fits. Now is the time to put your goodies inside and then you wanna embellish it with all kinds of ribbons and bows. I have spider ring, clip-on spiders here, but look how cute that is to give somebody some homemade fudge or chocolate-covered pretzels or whatever you wanna do. It works really well. All right, the last thing I wanna show you is my potion bottles. I absolutely love these bottles. Now, this is a salsa bottle here. So what I do is I start with a clean, dry, uh, bottle or jar. So I so I got some of these labels that are actually stick on, but you can also hot glue them on. So what I did is I take brown and black paint and just dab it on the glass. You still want to see through it slightly. Now inside is Easter grass, that iridescent Easter grass. I think it looks so spooky. You can't really tell what's inside. Then you want to take all kinds of your um, shredded lace and creepy cloth and black leaves and purple flowers and gray tulle. And you can see I put a crow on top of this one. You just glue everything on. Now this one here is a true um, bottle that had a cork on it. So I put the skeleton head on and you can use some white too when you do this spooky stuff. Eyelash yarn, twine, um, black fall leaves, and you can see here I used a beautiful jewel on this one here. And then over on this side here, I have another one that had a stopper in it, and then I glued the skull to that. I like to use the black leaves as background to them, but then you really see the skull. Tight, creepy cloth, um, eyelash yarn, torn lace, and that's bone dust. And then this one is Vampire's Blood. And I have a spider on top. But you see how you just layer whatever the heck you want to put on them. Doesn't matter. Creepy cloth, lace. And then I have another star uh, charm over on this one here. All right, this is last minute spooky goodness. And so if you're going to a Halloween party, want to just go see some friends, Somebody's got a birthday and you just want to give them a cute gift bag, treat bag, a little potion bottle. That would be a cute little gift. Some homemade treats or a card or a tag. Here you go. I hope you love this. I hope you got inspired and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.